If you want to define the outlet of your catchment, then you need to take care that that outlet has to be on the delineated stream. So in this case, the blue line is the delineated stream that corresponds with the filled DEM, which is your model. In reality, however, you want to measure the discharge maybe under this bridge, because the river is here in this valley. And this is a bridge, and here it ends up in uh, La Galabre, the larger river. So let's assume we want the outlet here uh, under the bridge then um, we should not take the coordinate by clicking right here at the bridge because that doesn't correspond with your model. You need to zoom in to uh, the line, click right and choose copy coordinate. Zooming in is needed because uh, you need to be within the pixel of the DEM, which in this case is uh, within 5 meters. And then you can choose between two types of coordinates and you need to choose the one of uh, the layer, which is the same as the project and the DEM, and that's this first coordinate. Once you have copied that coordinate in the processing toolbox, you can use that in the upslope area tool to delineate uh, the catchment by simply pasting the coordinates here. Make sure you have the X and the Y in the correct one and you choose here the field uh, DEM, etc. Sometimes, however, you receive a file with uh, the outlet. So I'm going to simulate that. I'm going to create here a temporary scratch layer. I call this outlet. Point data type. And in this case, I uh, make it in the well, let's make it another projection. Let's assume I get it in uh, latitude longitude coordinates. And it has one uh, attribute, an ID. Editing is toggled on. So I can add a point here and I put it here on the bridge. And that is our outlet. Now, there are uh, two problems with this file. Um, it is in the wrong projection and it needs to be snapped to the line. So we can change the projection by clicking right, choosing export, save features as, and you can uh, save it to, uh, to your geo package or uh, to a, a shapefile or whatever. Let me save it here to the field of database and I call this outlet and I change it to the correct projection and uh, there it is I remove the uh, other one we don't need that so now this uh, purple point here is um, the outlet but it needs to be snapped to this line we can of course do that uh, manually, but there's also this tool snap geometries to layer. And there we have our input layer, which is the points. And then we have our channels as the reference layer to be snapped to. And we can then give a tolerance, which is in, uh, in the map unit in meters here. And uh, let's say that it needs to snap there within uh, 100 meters. And there are here different uh, behavior uh, settings. So you can align it or the closest point. And in this case, I prefer the closest point on the line and insert extra vertices where required. So it really goes to the closest point. And then I'm going to save that also to the geo package. And I call this one snapped outlet. I run it. And apparently this point was the closest, so now it is here. Now I want to add the coordinates to the attribute table. And there is a tool for that. 
add XY fields to layer. And you can choose here the projection that you want to add. And it creates a copy. I run it and I open the attribute table and here I get the X and the Y coordinate of the snapped outlet. If you click this button, you can dock the attribute table. So we have it here and then we can use the upslope area tool and we can simply do control C, control V to copy coordinate. Change this to the fill DEM and then we can use that to delineate the catchment. Sometimes however you get the coordinates just as numbers. There's a plugin which is called Latlon Tools. Here we have uh, the tools and you see that this is not uh, activated yet. So we need to create a new uh, layer. Let's call it outlet from coordinates. point and I have it in latitude longitude coordinates we have an ID now you see this is activated I'm just gonna simulate this I have the coordinates in latitude longitude so I'm going to copy that and so we assume, of course, that you have uh, received that from somebody or uh, from a GPS. And then you go to Latlon Digitize. And here you can enter the coordinate, latitude, comma, longitude. Or if you want to change that, then uh, you need to change the order here. In our case, this is longitude, latitude. So we need to change this to longitude latitude. You can also change to other uh, datums that are used. And do add feature. Give the ID number here. And uh, here you see the point is uh, placed. Let me switch off the other points. Save this. So now we have our point. And we need to reproject it. And then we can snap it. Now it's snapped there and then we can uh, repeat the steps to add the coordinates and uh, use that for the delineation in the same way as we did with the other methods that were explained in this video.